Well, talk about making high school count. A recent partnership between a local college and a local high school is giving students the chance to earn up to two years of college credit before they even don that cap and gown. So here to tell us all about it, we have Lene Pizzano, the campus president of Harrison College in Columbus, and Scott Bennett, the principal of Reynoldsburg High School. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. So Lene, this is called the Dual Credit Program. Sure. What is it, how does it work? So basically, we as a college take our faculty into Reynoldsburg's high school site and we teach our courses to the high school students, anybody from sophomore to seniors. Okay, so that sounds like it's a pretty rewarding experience, sure. I mean, for these kids to get this. So why did Harrison decide Reynoldsburg's a great place to offer this? Yeah, well actually, I could tell you our perspective, but it was really Reynoldsburg who approached us. So I'm going to let Scott answer sure. that question. <laughs> so, you know, we, Governor Kasich had put out the idea here of this, these pathways that we wanted to develop some more um, economic opportunities for our students here in the region. Um, so as we started to look at what we wanted to do, we were looking at logistics, we were looking at IT, and we were looking at healthcare, um, and all of those things Harrison offered. So we, I had an opportunity to sit down with Lene. Uh, we had a really good conversation. We found them to be great partners, very flexible in what, how we wanted to do things for our students, um, and the partnership grew from there. Yeah, and I think for us, a couple things. So we wanted to give students an opportunity to gain early college exposure um, to help them potentially go to college and believe they could. Um, and really succeed and then save money. It's, it's hard to go to college today. So how do we remove some of the financial burden, give them that early exposure, and then how do we help the businesses who need to hire a workforce that has a diploma or a degree? So this could help get them into the workforce even more quickly, actually. It's kind of a win-win. The city we live in, right, with these great graduates that are prepared earlier right. than they would have been. And I'd imagine many have participated it's been about a year yeah. right that you've had this yeah so we're in year two of a three-year rollout and I think of the 2,000 or so students that Reynoldsburg mm -hmm. has um, we're looking at at the end of this year about 180 and then we see that doubling probably next year is that accurate Scott yeah we've we've actually tripled the amount of college credits <laughs> that we've been able to offer to our students over the last two years by joining up here with Harrison um, we ended up having this year uh, we're gonna have offer about 1,100 credits to our students mm -hmm. Um, which is going to save our students almost half a million dollars. It's about $450,000 that they'll save taking those courses through us, through Harrison. Mm -hmm. And I imagine the economical benefit, obviously huge, as uh, you just mentioned. Absolutely. Um, but I think, you know, even being the feeling, the, the social aspect of that, everything mm -hmm. kind of probably benefits those high school students. No doubt. You know, one of the things that Linnea and I have talked a lot about is, is some of the national rates around college dropout rates. Um, the national rate's almost 50% right now of wow. students who start into college and don't finish. Um, having these early college opportunities for these kids to actually start taking college classes while in high school, mm -hmm. um, we think is going to improve college retention significantly. Well, and not every college is for every student. And so, you know, there are those students who may not, one, think they could go to college, and two, if they're going to go to college, they're afraid of the maybe the larger traditional environment. So they want an option that provides them those wraparound services. They want to be known by name. You know, we, we offer a 12 to 1 ratio in a classroom size. And so there's, you know, personal coaches and tutors and just a, a family-like atmosphere. And that helps some of those other kinds of students who can't see themselves in a traditional setting. And you mentioned, <laughs> I know, Scott, some of the offerings they have, but Lene, if you could kind of expound on what kind of classes, what kind of programs is yeah. Harrison really able to offer? You know, overall, it's anything that's a, a high industry sector in our region. So we have School of Health Sciences. We know the health industry is growing. We're certainly starting to work mm -hmm. with Reynoldsburg in that pathway more. We know business and entrepreneurship and logistics is big, so we offer that. We know, even in the School of Criminal Justice, that there are many places and many opportunities for folks with a criminal justice background, not just a cop necessarily, but other kinds of positions. And then we are wanting to expand in the IT world as well. So we try to keep it relevant to the economy here in this region and certainly relevant to the students in Reynoldsburg. Are you thinking of expanding beyond Reynoldsburg? Absolutely. I think where it fits, we should. We should try to give you know access to any student that's ready for it. Um, it may not be a fit for everybody, but we're ready to have those conversations. All right, mm -hmm. Scott, I imagine people, students can come to you.
about it, but Absolutely. where else can we send students high school and college age to kind of learn more about this program? Mm -hmm. So not only can they come in and, and talk to us, we are an open enrollment district, so students from all around can come to Reynoldsburg and, and have these opportunities. But we also have a nice website, the Innovation Generation website, that talks a lot about some of these early college opportunities and the different pathways that are available here in, in Central Ohio. And so for anyone wanting to even just tour or get a feel for Harrison, simply harrison.edu and it'll navigate them right to the Columbus, Ohio campus. Okay, so. Scott, Lene, I want to thank you for being with me today. Sure. Thanks, Thanks for having us.